Thanksgiving weekend often thought of as the kickoff of the holiday shopping center, especially with the big sales on Black Friday. But as money editor John Delano reports, that's changed as inflation is also affecting how we shop. Gone are the days of large crowds rushing into stores very early on Black Friday. First, COVID limited in-person shopping and now inflation is affecting shopping patterns. I think that the main theme here is inflation and that incentivized people to start early. There's a feeling among consumers that they wanna spend, they wanna celebrate the holiday, but they're being thoughtful and they're looking for value and they wanna spread out these purchases. Ted Rossman, senior industry analyst at bankrate.com that surveys consumers says many shoppers are more than halfway through their Christmas shopping because stores started their Black Friday sales weeks ago. Retailers have answered the call. They put their best foot forward early. They started their Black Friday type pricing way back in early October. Shoppers in Market Square said inflation was a factor this year, but good sales and discounts can offset price hikes. Money is, I think, tight for everybody, so spending a lot of money is hard. I'd probably spend a little less than I would um, any other year. Holiday gifts, I haven't really noticed that stuff has gone up as much because a lot of retailers have lots of sales and coupons and such. As for overall spending during this Christmas holiday season, Rossman predicts an uptick for retailers, but that will be wiped out by higher overall costs. It's anywhere from six to 8% above last year, which sounds good, except last year was up 14% from the prior year. And these stats don't include inflation. And inflation's running towards the high end of that six to 8%. In short, consumers will spend more for the same gifts of last year. Two pieces of good news, supply chain issues are much better than a year ago. And the Black Friday sales that started weeks ago are likely to continue until Christmas. John Delano, KDKA News.